Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is the 23rd of August and uh, I'm back down on the micro orchard. I'm just going to spin you around slowly. Things in the viewfinder. So, uh, I was actually down here yesterday and um, one of the things that's going on right now, you can see the apples are ripening nicely. They're pretty early, I think, because of that hot spell we had in June. Things seem quite a bit earlier than uh, they would be otherwise. But uh, I'm losing a lot, a lot of fruit. And um, invariably, that one doesn't look as though it's damaged actually. Uh, so I'll put those to one side. But there's a lot of codling moth. I've, had, I've been absolutely hammered with codling moth this year. And so a lot of. Uh, come round here. A lot of these apples are dropping because uh, that, that's a ding from codling moth there um, and then obviously a bird's been pecking at it. So what I'm doing is I've got, uh, I know a guy who keeps pigs and uh, normally when I press the uh, apples he takes the pomace but I'm not sure because I'm losing that many I don't even know by the time I get to October whether there'll be any hardly any left to press so what I'm doing is just picking up these windfalls and letting him have those you can see this is this is all that's all codling moth damage so I think I'm gonna to have to bite the bullet for next season and get uh, a couple of pheromone traps the leeks are growing away really nicely and in, this was a row of uh, or is still partially a row of uh, greyhound summer cabbage the kind of pointed summer cabbage is really really good cabbage and um, there's about eight left maybe I'm hoping you can see these are still hearting up but uh, they've done really well some have pruned the pear tree and uh, the fruits are looking good there's quite a lot on this branch in particular if you can see that is uh, really loaded so I'm gonna have to probably put some kind of a support under this because uh, I don't want it to you know if we get some gales or something uh, there's a risk it could snap so I don't want that to happen so the other thing I did yesterday was to uh, pick the damsons and this is the tree here um, I nearly got them all picked and then it just came on with a huge downpour. Uh, so you can see it's just probably a, a couple of pounds left on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick those and I'm, it's now now is the time to prune stone fruits, you know, so plum, cherry, dams and whatever. Once your fruit's been picked, you want to get them pruned straight away. So I'm going to prune this, as I say, and pick the rest of the fruits on it so I just want to there's a kind of before shot if you like and then I'll bring you back once I've uh, once I've pruned it I've taken off so far I've just paused actually I just wanted to show you uh, how the potato tops had dried out very nicely under this uh, little thing I had um, some of that polycarb sheet just propped up on bricks and um, I dried the shallots on here and then as I say when when they, I took those up home, I lifted the spuds and put all the tops, so I'll either burn them or take them up for the compost pile. So I'm going to move this now, and then I can work my way around this damson tree. Right guys, I'm sort of trying to stand with the sun behind me so you can get a better view really of what I've done there. So you can see that I've gone for the traditional kind of open goblet centre tree and just removed quite a bit of the height out of the leaders but generally speaking yeah just keeping that open center to let light and air in really and uh, that's the material i have removed quite a few larger branches you know and a lot of uh, side shoots and things like that uh, some water shoots are removed and I've got a nice bag, there'll be definitely a couple of pounds there, I'll freeze those, 
maybe make some damson vodka <laughs> but uh, I'm happy with that yeah I just should keep it in check a bit also providing we don't get any frost at blossom time um, keep it fruitful so I mentioned now's the time to prune your stone fruit so this Victoria plum it's a big old tree uh, it's pretty rotten but it's still it's still producing so I'll keep it going as long as I can you can see there's still some fruit on there to pick so once that's gone I will prune some of this so I'll probably try and get up in the canopy and take some of the height out of it to be honest with you on this one it's with this plum that I grafted into a, a wild plum stock sort of behind there over on the embankment that fruited really well and again I just want to uh, prune that up a little bit you know some of these side shoots they won't take him back by at least half and then the leaders you know kind of pruning back a little bit because what I want is the tree because it's on the embankment I want it to try and prune it so that it it's coming over onto my plot rather than down into the alleyway below so actually yeah one thing I didn't mention when I was pruning this damson was uh, wearing some of these leather gloves because if you're not familiar with damsons uh, you can have some pretty evil spines on them and uh, if, if you get one of those into your skin I'm telling you it's, it's really painful just like a gooseberry which leads me that's the next subject just now I had a comment from a chap called Ken Miller um, about a video I did about eight months ago on pruning gooseberries and taking uh, how to take uh, cuttings so Ken if you're watching I'm just going to show you this a little follow up on the, how those cuttings have done so once again I'm just going to uh, spin you around this isn't a definitive follow up because it's what I'd like to do is actually lift those so you could see the root system but because we're still in August it's too early I don't want to lift them until uh, the leaves have gone and they're dormant so what I'll probably do is a, uh, another follow up because I'll be potting them up because they're going to go up to my mate's field um, but as you can see this is the these are the raw cuttings there's one two three four five six seven eight plants there and I'm hoping you can see that they've all grown away this you can see this is nice soft growth there similarly that one they've all got new growth on them so um, like I say Ken if you're watching I hope that uh, satisfies your curiosity just for now but as I say I will I will come back and um, you know when I come to lift them probably early very early November so I'll do another follow-up then actually I've just noticed while I'm down here look at these cob nuts I'm gonna pick those up I'm not gonna let those <laughs> yeah awesome just a few more things really a uh, couple of the cheeky curious squash off that plant uh, three would have been better but two so eight isn't it I've got some more at home and um, these Oregon peas I've kept under the net so the pigeons couldn't get to them and they responded I don't know if you can make that out but they're flowering now so that's good we'll get to we'll get something off those I uh, just got some more grass seed yesterday as well so this is where the pinks where you can see I've left a little a few there um, I'll just try and keep on top of them if I can but it, it's the trouble is getting the time to weed them out if I do anymore like I said I'm going to plant them through membrane and burn holes in the membrane just plant them through and that'll uh, stop all that weed so the grass seed I put down a few weeks back isn't doing too bad uh, I've mowed it a couple of times tried to set the blades as on the highest setting on the mower but uh, you can see you know there's a there's a few patches and I'm not sure whether that's cats scratching around but I'm I'm pretty pleased with the way it's uh, it's coming along so I'm just going to put a little bit more seed down anyway and, uh, and as I say it'll just make things a lot easier for me really well that's the end for this one folks uh, 
hope you've enjoyed it and uh, please do drop me a comment and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've just found me see you in the next one bye for now